Hi everyone, another video here um, from Ernie Tech uh, about the G90. So we're going to set up FL rig today with the G90 and as everything, as everything, it's tricky. The first thing you have to do is look at the instructions for the interface that you bought to connect your radio to your computer. Now I use the XGG comms Digimode 4 which comes from the UK and it tells you to install a little driver for the FTDI uh, USB to serial connector, which I've done. Once you've installed the interface, don't turn your computer or, or the, your rig on yet. Leave, leave that off for a second. Go to your computer. Now I'm using Windows. I like Linux, but for radio stuff, I usually use Windows because it, to me, is just easier. Mm, you know, Call me a coward, say what you will. Uh, it's just easier for me. Open up Device Manager, and there's a couple things you need to check on first. One of the things is what port was assigned by the computer to your interface. And mine was COM5. Okay, mark that down. What is the name of the input and outputs from the, uh, the G90? Go up here to Audio Inputs and Outputs. Natch. And... I've changed the names to Seagoo G90, but it's USB audio device, USB audio device. So the USB audio device G90 for the recording side of it, which is where it comes from the radio to your computer, has a little microphone icon. And where it goes from the computer to the G90, it's got a little speaker icon. So that helps you figure out just what is what when it comes time to set up all the different programs and stuff. And if you're not sure, you can just go down here to um, sound, video, and game controllers, and it'll show you USB audio device, which is that interface that you purchased for your, for your, um, your G90. Okay, once you've got those things figured out, go ahead and turn that off. Now, here's what FL Rig looks like when you're starting out. I'm going to try to walk you through this relatively slow but not so slow that you fall asleep but there's a little complexity here with the g90 even though the latest version of fl rig which is what i have right here which i guess is 1.4.4 for me now could be something else later there is a definition in the rig pull down for a z a zigu i never get that right for a g90 a long time ago, in the beginning of this whole process with the G90 first coming out, people said, well, use the ICOM IC7100 definition for the rig. It's close enough. And for most people, it worked just fine. And then fortunately, they put in a rig definition for the radio itself. The problem that I've figured out is that everybody has a different interface for it. I have the Digimode 4. Some people have the Gnomic from... That was called the Nomic from uh, West Mountain. Other ones had the Tiger Tronics. There's a lot of different things out there. And depending upon how it's structured and built and whatever, the, 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 the G90 definition in that comes with FL rig may be working just fine, but for me it didn't. It would make the radio transmit as soon as it started, which is obviously not what you want. Here's the trick. Okay. We have to change the definition for the Zigu G90 to something that works with your interface. To do that, the trick is this. Don't turn your radio on the first time you crank up FL Rig. Leave it turned off. And what will happen is FL Rig will complain and it will say, I can't find the COM port or I can't find the radio or I can't find something. That's okay. Because you don't want the wrong stuff going to the radio and turning it uh, on or making it transmit right away or something like that. So with the radio turned off, you go over to config and you hit the config button and then you go down to the first line, which is where it says transceiver XCVR. You select from the pull downs all the way at the bottom, you select the G90 connection and you're going to have to put in select the name of the COM port that you found from your device manager. Mine's COM5. You're going to have to turn off RTS plus 12 and DTR plus 12. Turn these off. Uncheck them. Check echo on. 
and check to make sure that two stop bits are on. That's it. Go over here and change these. I've changed them to match the 7100. Now, this should work in 90% of the cases. However, because there are different interfaces out there, it may not. But if it doesn't, this is where you have to go to make it work. So again, my Digimode 4, it didn't work right initially. The, 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 rig, the interface is great, but it didn't like the definition for the G90 that came with FL rig. It would immediately turn it into transmit mode. So what I did was I looked at the definition from the 7100. I duplicated it for the G90. And then I saved that by hitting the init button. Now, when that happened, it complained because the radio was turned off. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Once you do that, close out FL rig. And what you've done is you've updated the G90 definition so that now it's going to work with at least my interface, the Digicom, or probably with yours too. Now, turn the radio on. Make sure the G90 is up and running. Then start up FL rig. Something I want to mention though, very important. Starting out, turn the radio on, start FL rig. But when you're done your session and you want to turn everything off, make sure you turn FL rig or shut FL rig down first and then turn off the radio. Otherwise, FL rig will hang up because it can't find the radio. I told you it was complicated. All right. Once you've done all that, start her up. So here is FL rig. It's sitting here on the call, uh, the calling frequency on 10 meters. And I haven't heard anything today. Go to config. Go to setup. Transceiver. There is what we set up earlier. It matches just what I wanted. Go ahead and hit init. Now it says it's connected just fine, and that's great. But just for fun, press init to confirm it. There she goes. And it's up and running. Okay. That's pretty much it. So little tricks with the G90. And it really has its own definition, but it's dependent upon some of the vagarities of the particular interface that you bought. Again, this works for my Digicom um, Digimode 4 or XGGcom's Digimode 4. A lot of syllables in amateur radio, isn't there? And it may be a little different for yours, but the bottom line is this. In troubleshooting this connection between FL rig and the G90, there are only a number of things you need to do to get it to work. In summary, once you plug in your interface and you load the drivers, if you have to, go to Device Manager and make note of the names of the things that it assigned it to, the COM port and USB audio, so on and so forth. Don't start the radio first. Don't turn it on. Fire up FL rig first. Let it complain and set the settings for the rig after you select the Seagoo G90. As I shown, save it and then and only then start the radio first. Start FL rig. Hit the init button if you haven't already, you know, after you go to config. It should work like a champ. And then going forward, whenever you use it, Make sure the radio is on before you start FL rig and make sure that you shut down FL rig first before you turn the radio off. That wasn't so hard, was it? Sure. Okay. Anyway, thanks for listening and watching. Uh, please subscribe and uh, we'll do another video, perhaps one on JTDX or, or maybe something on JS8 call. I'm going to start playing with that. All right, please subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye for now.